If my entire life's work is just to bring one soul to come to know you, then I know everything was worth it. And that's the heart that you have to have. You know, yes, my heart's desire is to set the world on fire. But friends, if that means that I only teach one person how to strike a match, then it's worth it. Okay? It's all for Jesus, and it's all about souls. Hey, welcome to Never Forget the Bloods Worldwide Bloodcast. My name is Brother Barry, and we're here bringing you freedom from religious bondage by reminding you of the simple gospel. Today, I'd like to share with you a clip from a series of messages on personal evangelism. And I believe that this will be a blessing to the body of Christ, and I want to share this with you to encourage you in your faith and equip you in your study of God's Word and to spur you on to love and good works. So if you're ready for this, let's hop into it. I want to tell you this. You don't need to know everything about theology to be a soul winner. You don't need to know everything about presuppositional apologetics before you set out to do this. Okay, you don't need to know everything. You should increase in that. Go for all that stuff. Get as many tools in your belt as you can possibly carry. And then when, when, you, when, you, when your belt's so full, your pants start falling down, get a suitcase on your wheels. <laughs> and when that, then when that suitcase gets stuffed, Go buy a box trailer and, and, and hitch it on the back of your car for that, okay? And then when, you know, friends, I want you to increase in your knowledge and understanding until you have a, a fleet full of semi-trucks full of tools and weapons to wreak havoc and destruction against the enemy's camp so that we can take back what was stolen and, and seek and save that which was lost. You should, you should watch your life and your doctrine. Yes, indeed, but you must not let the lack of any of that hold you back from stepping out in faith to do this, okay? So if you want to write something down, don't let lack hold you back, okay? Don't let lack hold you back, all right? Um, so moving along, strategy, okay? Strategy, right? Strategy. Strategy is important, okay? But it is important when you're planning a strategy to be flexible and open to the, to the spontaneity that the Holy Spirit will bring your way because it's going to happen. Um, in uh, don't let lack hold you back. Yes, in uh, Acts chapter eight. Okay, read that yourself. And actually, uh, a side note here: if you know something that's going to be very beneficial for for your personal ministry, and you know just for your faith and everything, uh, take some time to sit down and read the entire book of Acts in one setting. Okay, it's going to do wonders for you. It only take you about two hours, two or three hours. Okay, so the, I mean, my goodness, you watch a, um, you, you binge on Netflix, you can read the Word. Okay, uh, so I mean, you can listen to the audio Bible, whatever. But um, you know, in Acts eight, there's the um, the book, uh, the story of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. Okay, Philip had a strategy, right? Philip had a strategy. Uh, he was going around uh, after. Uh, they were dispersed outside of Jerusalem, and then they come back, and they were going around the towns of Samaria. Okay, that was his strategy. But um, then the Spirit told him, go down to this place, right? And that's where he met the Ethiopian eunuch, and he never saw him again, right, after that encounter. But what happened? The Ethiopian eunuch took that message back to the queen, Candace, right? And you look through history, and I mean, and Ethiopia was a Christian nation, okay? So, friends, like those spontaneous encounters uh, uh, that you have, like you never know what God's going to do with that. Okay, so be faithful and be open to that. You know, um, like I said, we could um, we could spend hours talking about that. You got to be uh, flexible, and um, you know, you you'd want to make a plan, but you don't want to be robotic or mechanical. Okay, um, you know, we're not building a you know a business empire. Okay, if this is about souls then you got to remember that this is relational, okay? You have to approach this organically and remember that these are real people, right? Um, you know, you're not trying to win arguments, okay? You are not trying to win arguments. You are, you are out to win hearts to Christ, okay? So, yes, you should, you, you know, learn some apologetics, but you're not out to win arguments. You're out to win hearts and souls to Christ, okay? Um, as far as strategy, you know, if you think about, uh, farming, right? If you think about farming, uh, a wise farmer will plow the fallow ground, 
Okay, he's not just going to throw seed out into a wild field. He's going to plow the fallow ground. He's going to invest in seed, right? Invest in seed. He's going to irrigate the field so that wa water will get to every plant. He's going to protect uh, against. He's going to protect the crop against scavengers and rodents, right? He's going to research and study the methods of other successful farmers. Okay, he's going to he's going to through trial and error, he's going to discover better practices to cultivate even larger ears of corn. He's going to gather a team together, uh, fellow laborers. He's going to teach them the methods that he's used and learn from them. And he's going to make corrections to practices that he's found to be unfruitful. And he's going to learn to discern when the harvest is ripe and ready or if it needs a little bit more water or what, you know, he's going to learn to discern that. Right. And of course, a spiritual farmer is going to have the wisdom to pray for rain and to give God the glory with thanksgiving when the harvest comes. All of heaven rejoice. There is more rejoicing in the presence of the angels in heaven when one sinner repents than over a righteous person doing a righteous, a thousand righteous people doing righteous. There's more. All of heaven rejoices when one sinner repents, folks. Hallelujah. We got to learn to celebrate that. I mean, if you've got a friend that comes to Christ, throw a party. Throw a party and celebrate it. And truly celebrate it. Amen. So, um, you know, when you see the rest of the book of Acts and uh, you read Paul's epistles, you see he had uh, strategy in his missionary journeys. But, um, you know, he also left room for God to interrupt his plans. In Acts 16, we read that he, he said that, you know, that we planned to do this, but we were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to go there. So, you know, make a plan, but, be, but follow the Lord, okay? Um, and also be prepared for spiritual warfare, okay? Because in 1 Thessalonians 2.18, 1 Thessalonians 2.18, um, Paul says, you know, he's talking about making this plan, but he said Satan hindered us, okay? So you will face spiritual warfare. Oh, friends, Acts chapter 9, a certain disciple named Ananias, right? What a blessing it would be to just be a certain disciple. I don't even care if anybody ever remembers my name. Lord, just give me the anointing to be a certain disciple and let me lead the next Apostle Paul to your throne. Amen. Friends, George Whitfield prayed, if, it, it, Lord, if you just let me win one soul to you, I don't care if I get tossed around the ocean for the rest of my life. Friends, your strategy as a personal evangelist and as an individual soul winner is ultimately going to be um, up between you and God, but you have a lot of freedom. Okay. There's a world of freedom. You know, you don't have to follow another person's pattern. You just got to start doing this. You know, you might be called to pass out tracks on a, on a street corner like that guy from Australia, right? Or you might be pressed to go to foreign countries and plant churches. Uh, God might use you to lead your, your family members and your neighbors to Christ through your relationships. Or you might right now just be simply called to disciple the children in your own house. Okay? None of these are of, are of any less value than the other. Okay? Your rewards will be deemed on your faithfulness. Okay? So if you're just a, a housewife raising children, you be faithful in that. Okay? Raising them in the fear and admonition of the Lord. You, you are winning souls to Christ. That's your goal in parenthood. Amen. So, um, and, and you might just be a single person, you know, with, with, uh, you know, no children, but you know, if you right now just begin to shine your light in your workplace and be a good employee and faithfully and walk up rightly and always having an answer for the hope that is within you. Okay. None of these are of worth, are of any less value or honor than the other. Okay. Uh, God will, uh, God will reward you based on your faithfulness. Okay. And, he will, uh, and with, when you're faithful in the little, he will set you over much. You know, when I started doing this, I, I just started seeking ways to, to reach out to my coworkers and, and strangers on the street. <laughs> I'm just blown away. Now God has given us, a, 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 I mean, it's a blessing. We have an international ministry that's seeing thousands of people come to Jesus. And I count it all as a gift of the riches of his grace. And I, and I just want to be a good steward of what he's gifted to me. Matthew 25, read Matthew 25, okay? Write that down, Matthew 25, read that later. The uh, specific, all three parables, but specifically the parable of the talents, okay? Matthew 25. Um, friends, all along the way, my prayer has been, Jesus, if my entire life's work 
is just to bring one soul to come to know you, then I know everything was worth it. And that's the heart that you have to have. You know, yes, my heart's desire is to set the world on fire. But friends, if that means that I only teach one person how to strike a match, then it's worth it. Okay? It's all for Jesus, and it's all about souls. Okay? You say that. It's all for Jesus, and it's all about souls. Say that with me. It's all for Jesus, and it's all about souls. Hey, so thanks for joining us in this. And if you want to get notified uh, when we release more uh, material just like this, especially in this series of personal evangelism, please subscribe to this channel and click the little bell to get notified when we release more material. So God bless you all. And just until next time, friends, see to it that no man steal thy crown and never forget the blood.